We gather around Charles and Allison in this beautiful place, and we look on with love and hope as these two begin a new journey together. Allison and Charles met in the way that people do nowadays at Senor Frogs in Myrtle Beach. Charles approached Allison with his incredible charm and rugged good looks, and a tequila emboldened Allison allow a his flirtation. I'm Allison's matron of honor and Charles's twin sister, and he introduced me to Allison six years ago, who has become one of my best friends. Quickly after getting to know Allison, I also saw what made her so special. I knew her calming presence would ease Charles' stress, and her humor would keep them laughing. Over the years, I've witnessed Allison grow in her career, from making smoothies while interning with the Eagles, <laughs> to passing her RD exam, and now helping mothers-to-be with gestational diabetes. It really is a testament to her determination, love of food, and helping people. I know Charles to be somebody who is caring, somebody who listens, somebody who, who doesn't judge. He is my best friend. But you know, I think about the times that we'd go out in DC. I didn't live in DC at the time, so I'd sleep on his couch. I'd put all my clothes in the corner of Joey's room. And that's the, the relationship, that's the friendship that we had. And that's the relationship that Charles seems to build with people. Allison, you are smart, beautiful, and kind, but if I had to describe you in one word, it would be effervescent. You are an amazing friend, and I'm so proud to stand beside you today. Together, I know you and Charles can roll over any bridge that comes your way. Charles, thank you, because today and forever, I don't only really have a twin brother, but also the sister I had always hoped for. I want to say, Allison has been a real adventure and dwelling on the Miss Teen Maryland days. Uh, this is your best uh, pageant day yet. Your dress was beautiful, your hair, your makeup. You look beautiful. Kenny, you are the one that God perfectly selected to be my partner in life. You made me feel like I could be myself and I had never felt more at home with someone I had just met. Allison, little did I know the moment I met you in Myrtle Beach that one day you'd become my wife. I promise to accept you and cherish you for who you are today and who you will become and we will become in the future. I vow from this day forward to love you and care for you and to be there during the good times and when you lock yourself in the garage. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to keep you healthy and give you extra veggies for dinner. <laughs> I promise to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may lie ahead. By the power invested in me in the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss your bride.
Allison, I will never forget, the following weekend, Bryce was in town, Charles assembles all of us in the living room, and he says, guys, I met the most beautiful, drop-dead gorgeous woman in South Carolina. You'd probably ask, like, oh my god, what was she like? What drew you to her? Yeah, no, we, re we just went on social media, you know, we had to vet her on social media, but I kid you not, Allison, he had this twinkle in his eye the entire time he was describing you to us. I knew Allison had met her prince the first time we met Charles. He was kind and polite and fit right in with the Farrow family. Charles, welcome to our family, and we wish you the best of luck. <laughs> You're a great guy. My advice to the two of you is to always communicate and never go to bed angry. Best wishes for a fun-filled future together. Here's to the happy couple. I see this undying love that they have with each other. And I can only hope, Allison, that this relationship, this marriage is as strong as the, the three best friends. Our, our, our friendship is, but, and honestly, you know, I think about your love and how you guys met. You know, I think fate is real. I think this is a perfect example. And I wish you all the best. <laughs>